Missed out on this year's Comrades Marathon? Well, you can still get your dopamine and serotonin pumping on Youth Day. The second annual non-motorized campaign is back in Rustenburg this year. It features a fun run and half and full marathons as well as cycle races. It's organized by the rapid transport company Yaruna Rustenburg. Theron Rapo from the company joins us now. A very good morning to you, Theron. Thank, thank you so much for your time. Just talk to us about the idea behind um, this non-motorized transport campaign that you guys are running. Because, of course, you, you do mention that last year was a particularly successful year, which I would imagine is the reason why you've brought it back for 2023. Now, thank you so much for um, allowing me to be a part of your show this morning. Yes, uh, the non-motorized transport campaign started last year when we um, launched it to the entire Rustenburg and to our surprise, it actually caught a, an interest of um, the entire nation where Athletics Northwest North, they felt that they needed to be a part of this. So this year we are coming with a full and a bigger um, event with many sponsors that have been um, showing interest to us to actually be a part of this. So yeah, it is coming back this year. It is bigger than last year and we are moving forward with the campaign. You talk about athletics um, in the Northwest also wanting to get involved, but what about the willingness, the excitement, the, the, the eagerness to participate from the people of Rustenburg, the people of the Northwest, and maybe even people from uh, surrounding provinces? We, we, have, um, we have actually just closed registration now because the numbers are spiking. Um, last year, we started with about 600 people. This year, we have 1,200 on the dot people who have registered. And you can see that people from around, given the address that they've used to register, it's people who are coming from different parts of the province. And yet, indeed, um, Athletics Northwest actually wants to make this the comrades of the Northwest province because this is the biggest race after the omdi dam so you can actually see that people are actually eager and they want to partake in this to our surprise we have at least about 250 cyclists who are coming from different parts of the of the of, 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 of the country so yeah definitely people are willing to take part and we can see that in numbers running cycling and you know doing aer uh, aerobics is not necessarily the only end goal for people that participate and particularly um, of course, the Yaruna, uh, you know, organization, there is an end goal to this, I would imagine. What is that? Okay, basically, with the rapid uh, transport system, we are trying to encourage people to understand that there is a non-motorized um, element, you know, attached to the project where, you know, the, the city has built so many kilometers of walkways and cyclist ways to actually try to keep people healthy, make them understand that they can actually run, get tired, get into the bus, and then after they get their breaths back, then they can actually go and continue to run. Our buses can actually fit a wheelchair and, 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 and two, if not three, bicycles, you know, if people can, um, can actually get into the bus and actually see how they are structured. So basically, uh, we're trying to say to people there is non-motorized uh, transport um, element attached to the actual system and and we want to teach them on that. So basically, at the end, we want to educate them on the system and how non-motorized element is attached to the system as well. Again, this is not even this is not just going to be an event about um, you know non-motorized transport. It's not going. To, it's not necessarily only an awareness campaign. It's not for people to get fit. It's not for people to you know to, to essentially see if they can qualify for the Comrades Marathon next year. There will be other activations and activities. What can if I were to leave Joburg to come to Rustenburg? Um, next week or this coming weekend, what can we expect? What kind of um, festivities can we expect? Okay, Rustenburg as a city is broad in terms of the tourism offers that we have. So, in you know, beyond us as um, Rustenburg Rapid Transport or Yaruna, we are still Rustenburg local municipalities. So, people who are coming in, they will be welcomed by the city's warmth, and we want people to come here and see what the city has done in terms of infrastructure, in terms of what we offer, in terms of public transport, and all those things that one would actually look forward to when they visit another city. So, beyond a marathon and a cyclist event, it's a social event where we want to teach people and share people share to people about what Rustenburg has to offer and this state-of-the-art public transport system that has just been awarded to the only city within the province. 
who else is involved, um, Theron? Uh, you speak about uh, athletics in, in the province, you know, showing its interest in, in, in joining Yarona and, and making this event uh, a, a lot bigger than what it is now. But who else is involved? Who else have you got on board that can help you turn this into the Northwest very own comrades? Um, it's, it's, it's quite inspiring to actually see members of the, you know, corporate wanting to be a part of this. We have Rustenberg Mall, who has allowed us to actually uh, be a part of this. They've partnered with us. Stank is also a part of us. We have Zep Oil. We have um, PVM Energy Bars. We have quite a lot of, you know, of people who actually want to, to, to be a part of this. And we can actually... Uh, It looks like, uh, unfortunately, we've lost uh, Theron Rapo there. But we essentially got the gist of exactly what it is uh, Yarona are pushing. Um, this event, of course, is coming on the 16th of June. This non-motorized transport campaign is happening on Youth Day. And, of course, they are urging as well uh, the young to come out in their numbers, uh, which they seemingly have because we're talking more than 1,000 people who've signed up and even entries have closed uh, from Yaruna because of that eagerness and willingness to take part in this particular event. Again, it's happening on the 16th of June. It's happening in Rustenburg.